Today, I punched some people out with my eyes closed. And if you wanna see me break that down, you're gonna to have to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss this video or any of the future videos because I got a lot of these breaking points coming out this season. So hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already. All right, as I said today, earlier today, I punched out some people with my eyes closed. And full disclaimer, it was only one eye closed. It was the right eye was closed. I actually threw the majority of the first inning today against the Padres with my right eye closed just for, for giggles. But I did register three strikeouts today. All three strikeouts today had my right eye closed during the final pitch, if not more of the at-bat. So we're going to break it down. Uh, the first couple batters, I kind of sprayed balls everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to go through those quickly, and then we'll get down to the, to the juicy part. So here we go. Put up a strike zone, as I do. That's kind of a literal strike zone, but there we go. Anyway, so jerks and profar, ball one. Uh, we actually had a nice little exchange as he was coming off the field. He said, you know, we're looking forward to, or he said he's looking forward to uh, playing against us this year and competing against us. And, you know, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a fun series. It's going to be a good time. So that's what, uh, that's what that exchange was about if you're watching the game. Anyway, uh, eye is closed for the entirety of this at bat, um, starting off throwing pretty hard. Uh, we've been like 93 to 95. I think we got to 96 in this at bat. So feeling pretty good on the day, the mechanical changes that I made uh, or the, the little tweaks that I was making uh, seemed to be working pretty well. Uh, ball's coming out pretty hot, which is nice. Um, that's probably the best pitch right there that I executed the entire at bat. Um, and this one, this is a really good tunnel. I like this one a lot. Now I missed, so both of those right there. Let's talk about this real quick. If you watch kind of where the glove is on this pitch here, if we scroll back to it, uh, this, the glove is right here kind of in the center, uh, center middle, which is where I'm trying to throw this ball. Uh, that's not always the case. I don't always try to throw it to where the glove is, but in spring training, that is the case. And I missed up here uh, some, but still ends up in a pretty, a pretty good spot. It kind of takes an awkward swing at it. Um, then we go with this fastball away, kind of gets middle, uh, he misses it, and then we get one that's a little bit further away and he gets a hit on it. Uh, so this hole at bat, I closed, and there's the, there's the hit. So, all right, next at bat, we got Tommy Pham. Um, and this one, the umpire's eyes, I believe, were closed. <laughs> My eye was closed for this entire bat as well, my right eye, but let's draw us a strike zone here. It's spring training for everybody, I know that. Not trying to call anyone out, but kind of. Uh, so here we go. Start him off with a, uh, a cutter, and he's, he defines the strike zone really well. So I uh, wasn't looking to swing first pitch right there, ball one, and come back with another cutter and make sure to get this one in the zone. So this one actually starts off, and this is a theme you'll see. You see a lot of breaking balls called for strikes in this window, and that's because they start kind of up, and they read fastball up, ball, and then the breaking ball kind of falls into that window. So even though those are generally considered to be mistakes, um, you actually get a lot of strikes up there. So here's a 96, and now, like, what are we doing here? I mean, I just, I think this is a pretty fair strike zone. If you look at how he starts, like, that's pretty fair, I'd say, and this ball just, I mean, how is that missing? Like, how does that miss the zone? Like, that ball's here. That's a, that's a strike. So this should be one, two. You can see my reaction here. If you watch me, I'm just like, oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm already making it hard enough on myself with my right eye closed, just throwing with one eye out there. Like, open both your eyes and call that a strike. Anyway, here we go. Biggest swing count in baseball, 1-1. One, one. Biggest way to influence a game. All right, now we go up here. So those two are now balls. So now Fam's like, all right, that pitch is a ball. Again, you can kind of see over here. I'm trying to throw this ball down and away, still just not quite getting it there, haven't quite locked in. All right, so now we get this same pitch. I guess <laughs> it seems like this pitch right here ball, this pitch right here, ball, but the pitch right in the middle of them, strike. I don't know. I don't know what we're looking at up there. Either way, I'm just still kind of spraying balls. Haven't fully locked in the delivery yet. 
And then uh, let's see what we get here. Get a foul ball right back in that same spot. So this up and in area, we've kind of worn them out up here. And I think a, a fastball just down into this down and away spot gets him, but uh, that's not what we get. We get a fastball that misses up and in. And that one was definitely a ball. So, all right, now, now in my head, I'm thinking, am I gonna open my eyes? Am I really gonna quit on this right now? I think I decided to keep my eyes closed, warm my eyes closed for this one here. So we get this strike down and away. And this is where I finally start locking in. That pitch itself kind of locked me in because I found the release point uh, for the fastball. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> this next pitch goes to the backstop. Uh, since I have not found the release point for my cutter yet, just spiked it. So now we're second and third, nobody out, first inning of the spring training game, and I'm like, all right, at this point, I don't want to give up runs. I'm just going to compete because this is going to be fun. So I opened both of my eyes to get back in this count, and I made the decision, I'm like, all right, when I get to two strikes, I'll do it, but before that, I'm going to throw both eyes open. There we go. Really nice cutter right there. Um, 87 on that one. The cutter was good, 86 to 89 today, which when it's in that range, it's really, really good for me. So pretty fired up about that. And then we come back with the slower uh, slider and it gets into a good spot. Ideally, when I'm, tr when I'm throwing this pitch, I'm trying to get this in, in a one, two count. I'm trying to hit like this zone with it. So this one hung a little bit and that's kind of a theme for the day, but it's still, still a good pitch, uh, still an outlier pitch. So we get that out. Uh, and now's where, now's where the fun starts. So if you look at me right here, I'm saying something. I'm telling Barnes, I'm going to get one of these guys with my eyes closed. That's what I told him. And I don't know if he knew what to, uh, <laughs> I don't know if he knew what I was saying or, uh, or what, but here it comes. So first pitch cutter 86 in almost got a swing looking to be aggressive. Next pitch cutter. And this one I, I hit, I finally hit my spot. Uh, you can see, you know, gloves set up right here. And that's where that ball ends up. So finally started to lock in a little bit here. Curve ball. Big one. Caratini was not very happy about that call. And we come back with another one. I think he thought it was going to be a ball again. This is a big breaker. And we get that strikeout. And you watch me right here. That was with the eye closed. Once I got to 1-2, I was like, I'm going for it. And you can see me point to my eye right there. Like, yep. Eye closed, got one. So I was pretty fired up about that. First time in a live game that I've punched someone out with my eye closed. So pretty cool there. And then this at bat, 98. You see down here, 98. Pretty, pretty cool. I don't know where that velo came from, but I'm not complaining at all. And if you look at that swing, he's a little bit late. So we, we had a fastball there. Now I decide I'm going to go up the chain a little bit if he's late. I'm going to try to elevate a little bit more, see if he's still late. And get that a little bit out and a little bit up. Same type of result, but a little bit better swing. And so at this point, I'm like, all right, I've gotten two balls by him, 98, 97. And now I'm going to close my eye. Got that left eye open, right eye closed. And I throw kind of a bad pitch, actually. Uh, just this kind of hanging slider that I was referring to earlier. You can see it just stay, uh, just it pops up and it stays up. But if you watch his body language, if you watch his swing, and it, I mentioned this earlier specifically to talk about this point at this part of the game. This zone up here, you get a lot of takes on breaking balls. And so if you watch how this pitch comes out, this trajectory, let's go to, okay, here's a ball. Next couple frames here. Next couple frames here. So this ball has a trajectory of being like way up if it's a fastball. And if you watch the body language right here, he kind of reads, he's sinking into his legs. You watch right here, he's just sinking into him, almost breaking down. And then from this position, he decides, oh shoot, this ball's coming back into the zone, I need to swing. And he just kind of like flicks the hands at it and tries to make contact and foul it off. But I think he buckled. I think he originally read this as, this is going to be a ball. And then he just tried to flick it. And immediately, right here, if you watch me, there's, there's the hand, the finger pointing to the eye, saying I just registered my second strikeout. 
with my right eye closed. So I'm just out here punching people out with my eyes closed, just for fun. Now, I got a lot of questions about this in the post game, uh, or the post game press conference. And they're asking, is there a reason for it? And yes, there is a reason for it. There's a very, very good reason grounded in science for it. But I'm not ready to share that yet. So if you pay attention to this channel, maybe if you're lucky later in the year, I'll share some of that. However, that's it for this video. That's me punching people out with my eyes closed. If there's anything in this video that you liked, if you like tunneling breakdowns, if you like body language breakdowns, if you like what's going through my head, anything like that, anything you wanna know more of, I'm gonna be doing these videos once a week this season, breaking down my outings and maybe breaking down some other people's outings too, depending on what goes on. That's fun sometimes. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you wanna see more of and what you find valuable and any tips that you have to make these videos better for you guys. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next video. Hit that subscribe button if you cheated and you haven't already. You weren't supposed to watch this video, but you can hit that right now and make up for it. I'll see you guys in the next one.